Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Brew Dude coming at you with another brew review. Today I'm coming at you with Orville, brewed by Modern Times Brewing Company. Modern Times Brewing Company is a brewing company located off of San Diego, California. Modern Times does appear on Barnivore.com. Of course, I'll leave a link for Barnivore.com and I'll leave a link so that you're able to find uh, Modern Times directly on Barnivore.com and you're able to check out all of their vegan beer selection. So I left an email for Modern Times uh, customer service, I guess. They did respond to me. They let me know that all of their vegan beers would say on the side of the can that uh, the beer is uh, vegan. And um, apparently one of their owners is vegan, so every, every beer should be vegan. Now, um, once again, Barnivore.com is the best place for you to confirm, but it's great that the brewing company actually confirmed with you as well so you guys are able to email them if you guys like. I already knew about Modern Times. I go to this L house, once again Native Sun L house. It's in Santa Ana, California. So I, I go to that L house and usually have Modern Times. Uh, they actually compete in this little tournament that they have, like, like something like March Madness. So uh, I already knew about them but I, but I did go to their bar and um, I looked at the menu and I saw one of the Modern Times beers and it was a nitro infused black house. It's a coffee stout that they have uh, in the lineup for uh, Modern Times. So I tried it out, it's nitro infused by the brewing company and it's nitro infused by the L house and that shit was good. So that convinced me that I have to uh, look up the lineup and then just start going from there and start reviewing all of them. Just briefly, I want to let you guys know a brief little description of the of Modern Times. Sorry, so they actually take a name, their name from a utopian town or city uh, based off Long Island back in the 1850s, where they basically followed Hinduism, which is basically the practice of putting like pleasure and happiness at the center of everything, and uh, instead of you know money. But um, I guess the owner wants you to think of it, wants you to think of modern time as a little pocket of history of, of something like progress, uh, like that city, like that town was. Uh, this is what they want you to see in, in, in their brewing company. Now I am paraphrasing, but like I said, you guys can check it. Uh, you guys can check the link, take a look at what they're saying, and look into the beer. But if anything, onto the packaging. All right guys, so check out the close-up. Right off the bat, um, if you notice it's not a canned six-pack, I mean, sorry, it's not a bottled six-pack, it's a canned four-pack. And there are uh, 16 ounces cans, 16 ounce cans, which is a pint. So, all this together is about like five and a half, uh, 12 ounce bottles which is not bad you know because the presentation for me it's a lot better I don't know about the convenience of carrying it but um, it does have this little nifty plastic hook and it's not like those other ones that put you know uh, sea life in danger or well, at least from what I know or from at least from what it, I see here it doesn't seem like it it does say it does say that uh, they use 90% recycled content or plastic. I guess it does look fancy with all of the white. I like the uh, monochromatic stature of it. I guess with like the greens. It has three different shades of green, like a forest green, a regular green, and then like a light green. It has the name of the beer, the name of the brewing company. The show here of San Diego, California represents. Then it uh, shows you right here that it's a hazy mosaic IPA. The mosaic hops are actually uh, a little bit like uh, floral, like piney, uh, not too danky, but it, you know, it's danky. So on the back here, it shows you that it has, um, it's, it's a five on the SRM, which is it's pretty low, that means it's going to be like dark gold or something. And it says it's uh, 75 IBU. It is an IPA, it should be one of the bitter ones, so it's 75 out of 100. And uh, it says it's final gravity is 1.012. 
in terms of alcohol by volume it is 7.2 so I also like the back of the packaging because it shows you uh, the SRM as I said earlier the IBU and the final gravity it shows you what kind of hops they use they use six different types of hops and they use four different types of malts and it has a little brief description in the back I'll just go ahead and read it I'll just go ahead and read it off for you guys Orderville is a hazy IPA that blends the fruit forward character of mosaic and Denali hops with resinous thickness found in the lawn of dark varieties. The resulting beer is immensely rad with an unmistakably banging aroma of a fuel saturated hop flavor and finish. The juicy body provides a base layer upon which the massive, incredibly delicious hop character is built, inviting your taste buds to join a drum circle of flavor and magical forest hops. Nice. So it's got to be danky for sure. It's probably in uh, West Coast IPA. I'm going to be serious. West Coast IPAs uh, focus more on like the, the hoppy flavor to it, the dankiness. Uh, East Coast IPAs are like more floral, more citrusy. Um, in terms of packaging, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a spank. Um, just want to point out, it does say here that it's a. Uh, from the Independent Craft Brewers Association, uh, says it's employee owned, and it does say here that this beer is vegan. So, it takes a spank for me. It lets you know what kind of beer it is. It lets you it lets you know who brews it. It gives you off a little description in the back, and the little monochromatic tells you or goes with the description of like the variety of hops. So let's just go ahead and check out. Uh, the smell, the taste, the look, uh, the body and the head of it, and then uh, we'll take it from there, guys. Alright, check out the pour. Nice. Very golden. definitely hazy even though it's light on the SRM it's a 5 SRM uh, it's you can't really see through like the color is just gold you know but you can't see through because of the haziness hazy IPA hence the name hazy IPA uh, but you can smell it right off the bat uh, for head or from what I got head is like two two fingers it's white head it's not even golden um, once, I said, once again, I said it's hazy, it's golden, it seems like light body. You can smell the hops. See, what I like, um, I like like old school IPAs. Old school IPAs are more like um, on the combination of hops where it's like, not only is it the smell, but it's the taste. And this seems like it's gonna be it. Alright, yeah, so that's light, light bodied. It has a, um, it has a distinct taste. So I like the beer, guys. It has that, that like, a, like something like a floral, like a piney, kind of like musky uh, taste to it. Uh, like, you definitely feel like you're in the woods or something. I don't know, that's just the way I feel. Alright guys, so in terms of flavors, it is going to take a spank. I'll go ahead and finish the rest of this beer, and I'll go ahead and finish the rest of that beer. Now we'll come back with the test of the buzzability. Uh, since it is, it, since it is taking a spank, it will go, uh, it will go competing for the top five. For the top five, we have Purple Haze, Turbo Dog, Ale, the Patsy, and Pilsner. So we'll go ahead and see which one we take out. Unfortunately, this is a competition, and this beer is spanking asses. Alright guys, so we're going to be back right now to check out the buzzability of the beer. Honestly, I drank three pints, and it's a good buzz, man. Um, what was it, 7.2 alcohol? I drank it in about 45 minutes, so I'm pretty buzzed. Uh, 
I did say it did get a spank, so it's on the top five. Unfortunately, it did replace Pilsner, brewed by Ocho Reales. So now we have Purple Haze Turbo Dog, Ale by Ocho Reales, The Patsy, and Orderville by Modern Times. Uh, Modern Times, uh, they hit a soft, uh, soft spot with me. Uh, IPA is my favorite type of beer. Um, actually, it's IPA and Saisons, so they definitely take the crown with this. They take a spank. They're in the top five, and I'm about to finish this beer. I don't know if I can finish it within the chug. So, guys, Order Bill is one of the one of the great IPAs that takes it. West Coast IPA, represent. Um, so, enjoy this beer, guys. Drink it responsibly. Don't drink it as I am doing it now. And um, during the summer, if you do drink it, you know, make sure you taste everything. You know, taste the hops, um, taste the bitterness of it. You know, it's a, it's a good beer for you to relax, be out in the ocean. You know, get on the boat, paddleboard, you're in your pool, whatever. Enjoy the fucking beer. Come back, tune in for next episode. We probably have another Modern Times beer. I do have the lineup of all of the beers, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching Brew Dude on YouTube. If you want to take a look at my Instagram, the link would be on the description. If you want to take a look at my Twitter, it would also be on the description. If you want to take a look at my introduction video for the channel, please click on the left now. And if you want to take a look at the previous video for this channel, take a look on the right.